right guys today we're actually going to be dissing the very vehicle that i'm in right now and we're actually going to be talking about the five things that i hate about the generation three and in particular this is a 2017 toyota tacoma and i've had this truck for about uh, two years, almost going on two years. And so I think I know just a little bit about the quirks, the weird things that I dislike about this vehicle. And overall, if I would buy this car again, or if I would pass. So for me personally, just starting it off, I would probably pass on getting this vehicle again. And that is primarily because a lot of the objectives outside of maybe this vehicle being easier to park, just weren't quite what I wanted out of this vehicle. So let's talk about some of the disadvantages or some of the things that I really dislike about this vehicle. So the biggest thing that I think that I dislike about this vehicle is ultimately cabin space. Now this one's largely gonna be contingent on the size of you the size of you as a human, but I am six foot two, so this vehicle doesn't really quite fit me. And even right now, I kind of have to like scrunch down to fit in the frame of the uh, video. And of course, if I was really to actually like sit properly in this vehicle, it would actually be pretty tight. So I usually kind of scrunch down in this vehicle because it is, especially headroom wise, a little bit tight in here. Um, as far as it goes though, that's not the only thing. Height is definitely important, but as far as like cab space goes, it is not particularly big in this truck. And this is the double cab. In fact, this is the largest version of the Tacoma you can get because this not only has the full size double cab, so it has a full back seat. It also has a six foot bed. Now I actually like the bed length. It's just fine for me, but where it really kills me is on the cabin space you guys can see here i can actually touch all the way back here and uh, i can touch pretty much all the way back in the exterior or to the back of this cabin and that's barely with me moving at all now once again i do realize i'm taller and a little bit longer than most people so for i think most people this might work but if you are a particularly tall person this vehicle is definitely not for you at all and that's the biggest thing i dislike and in fact uh I came from a Tundra, probably will actually end up getting another Tundra, and uh, even the double cab, which is not even the largest cab size of the Tundra, is still noticeably bigger than the cab size of the Tacoma, even in the biggest configuration of the Tacoma. So the next thing for me, and I think a lot of people talk about this, is going to be the transmission. The transmission on this vehicle, while it's not like faulty, it doesn't break all the time or something like that, it's not like poorly, or it's not designed to fail, the uh, to, the transmission on this vehicle, very well documented by many people, sucks. It really feels like it constantly hunts for gears and it really does not do a great job. A lot of the shifts are very lurchy and once again that doesn't mean that the the transmission's about to break in this vehicle. It just feels like that from factory. It's just how the transmission was built for this vehicle. It's really weird and I dislike it quite a bit. A lot of people dislike it quite a bit. And that kind of also transitions into the next part of one of my dislikes and that is the fuel economy. Now for me, the fuel economy on this vehicle is advertised at like uh, 20 miles to the gallon and if you live in a really flat space and you don't leave your vehicle idling like at all you can definitely get 20 even 22 23 miles per gallon I think that's the highest I've gotten this vehicle and that was down while I was on the Kenai Peninsula where it is very flat but up here in the hilly regions of Alaska you will not get that at all I usually average about 16 to 18 miles per gallon in this vehicle which really kind of sucks I mean it I came once again from a Tundra where I was averaging about thir anywhere from 13 to 16 miles to the gallon. And so once again, in this vehicle, I'm averaging about 16 to 18. So they're actually pretty close or kind of scary close um, in performance or fuel economy seeing as the Tundra is a much larger engine and the Tundra is kind of known for its fuel economy issues or not being the best, the Tacoma really actually sucks, even in the third generation. Now, partly, like I said, I feel like that's also based on the transmission because the transmission does a horrible job at putting you in the right gear for the right time. I would say like 50% of the time. So I feel like a lot of times it's in a higher gear than it needs to be. And that ends up meaning that you burn more gas than you really need to. Um, anyways, that kind of ties into the fact of poor fuel economy. 
Okay, next one up is going to be the road noise. This guy is actually surprisingly noisy when you drive it, especially at highway speeds, but just driving in general. And it kind of does make sense because it is a smaller, more narrow vehicle, but this thing is actually really bad when it comes to road noise. It is very loud in here. And once again, coming from a larger full-size truck, this truck is much louder and sometimes downright hard to hear people when you have like a passenger and you're just trying to talk to them. It can be very difficult, especially at highway speeds. Um, definitely not very fun of that, or definitely not a very big fan of that. <laughs> and last one for me, while there wasn't too much to elaborate with the road noise, it's very noisy. The last one is ride quality. Now, this truck does have um, Bilstein aftermar aftermarket shocks on it. So hypothetically, it's a little bit different from stock and it should have been better. But overall, I feel like this truck is very, very rough on riding. And I think part of that isn't just the shock system, but in the back with this vehicle, they've done two things that I'm not a huge fan of. And that is one, they have, um, they have drum brakes and two, they still have leaf springs in the rear. And part of that is braking. So that's another conversation. But the other thing is leaving leaf springs still in the back means that it is just a very um, old fashioned and kind of not really super up to date kind of suspension system. And it does leave a lot to be desired when it comes to overall shock system kind of suspension and definitely equates to a rougher ride. Now, as far as it goes, I will say the Tacoma does feel better off-road or driving on like dirt roads, gravel roads, those kinds of things. It does feel, I wouldn't say like a softer ride, but the vehicle feels reasonably planted. So it's kind of hard to explain, but it does feel like a confident vehicle. Like it doesn't feel like you're going to slip or lose control at all. It does feel really good off-road, but especially on-road, it takes bumps and stuff like that that would be usually pretty minor and they definitely feel more noticeable. It's not necessarily jarring or painful, but I notice a lot of times where I'm like, man, I really feel every imperfection in the road, especially so on like, you know, paved roads, you really do feel every little bump, every little imperfection, and it is definitely not very fun. Okay guys, so those are the biggest top five reasons why I do not like the Tacoma. The Gen 3 especially, I have not used a previous generation of Tacoma, so I don't know what the Gen 2s and Gen 1s are like, but that's been my experience with the Generation 3. I really did think that it was going to be a lot better vehicle, and don't get me wrong, there are some redeeming there are some redeeming qualities about this truck. It's not all bad, and I will say it is a pretty up-to-date vehicle as far as like the systems in the vehicle goes, but when it comes to like the daily driving and usability of this truck, it does lack in a lot of ways, and there's a lot of reasons why I do not like the Tacoma, and like I said, if I was going to buy another vehicle, it would not be a Tacoma. I would probably would not get another one, and once again, too, partly that's due to my size and and my want for like a larger cabin space but also there's just a lot of things like road noise ride quality that just really let you down especially if you're going on like road trips and stuff uh, this vehicle is not always the most fun for those kinds of uh, trips and endeavors so anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed the video as always god bless and i'm out <laughs>